flying cars, robots, and most promising of all, deep space exploration. Welcome to the year 3023. Human life is thriving, and Earth is not the only planet hosting us. We finally found a way to live on Mars and Jupiter's moon, Ganymede, among others. At this point, we've inhabited every planet and moons we can within our solar system, so it's time to look for more places or planets where we can plant our roots. Going out of our zone to the closest cosmic neighbor is Alpha Centauri. So before we embark on this new endeavor, let's first answer these questions. How similar is our star system and what would life look like there? We're now entering the Alpha Centauri star system. It's a star system located in the southern constellation of Centaurus and is approximately 4.24 light years away from Earth. That said, it's the closest star system to our own, making it a subject of great interest and fascination for astronomers and space enthusiasts alike. The Alpha Centauri star system is one of the most fascinating and closest star systems to our own. It consists of three stars, Alpha Centauri A, Alpha Centauri B, and Proxima Centauri. Among the three, Proxima Centauri is the most popular. It's because Proxima b, a planet orbiting the star, is the most Earth-like among them all. Proxima b, also known as Proxima Centauri b, is an exoplanet, a red dwarf star that orbits this star. It gained significant attention when it was discovered in 2016 because it lies within the habitable zone of its parent star. The proximity of Proxima b to Earth has sparked speculation about its potential habitability and whether it could potentially support life as we know it. Speaking of which, despite its relative proximity to us in astronomical terms, Proxima Centauri's low luminosity makes it difficult to observe directly with the naked eye. However, advancements in astrophysical techniques have enabled scientists to study this intriguing celestial entity more closely. Through them, it was found that Proxima b faces challenges such as intense radiation and tidal locking due to its close proximity to its parent star. Because Proxima Centauri is a main sequence star, it continues to undergo nuclear fusion at its core to produce helium from hydrogen, which serves as the star's primary energy source. Proxima Centauri is generating energy at a slower rate than the Sun, which means that it'll remain on this branch of stellar evolution for an additional 4 trillion years, or roughly 300 times the current 13.8 billion year age of the universe. In contrast, our star is predicted to have a main sequence lifetime of about 10 billion years, of which approximately 5 billion years are left. While this star might burn at a slower pace than our own, it can still be very violent. In 2019, astronomers observed Proxima Centauri emitting one of the greatest star flares ever seen in the Milky Way. The plasma jet, which appeared for only seven seconds, was around 100 times more potent than any solar flare that had ever been observed. Observers were able to see the first Proxima Centauri super flare with the unaided eye in remote areas of Earth in 2016. All that said, how are we going to thrive, much more survive there? Well, we wouldn't know for sure until we set foot on its surface, but life has a way of adapting to harsh conditions. In fact, laboratory experiments have shown that humans and other animals can adapt to radiation, and that prolonged exposure to low doses of radiation increases organisms' resistance to larger subsequent doses. Long-term survival on exoplanets with radical different life conditions than here on Earth might let to human evolution in a way that we couldn't recognize each other branching off into new subhuman species. But what will we find on its surface? Most aliens, as displayed in movies, have some human-like characteristics, which may be because we assume that the planets where aliens lived also have Earth-like characteristics. Therefore, it is understandable that we share some similarities with the extraterrestrial life that exists there. That said, as we explore the planet, we could find some complex alien multicellular life forms, both plant and animal-based, on an Earth-like world like Proxima b. Life could very well be broadly recognizable and share many features with life as we know on Earth. The similarity can be attributed in part to the fact that some adaptations like eyes and wings are so beneficial that evolution on Earth has independently discovered them more than once. For example, avian, insect, and mammalian species have all separately evolved powered flight, while the camera lens eye designs of vertebrates and cephalopods such as octopus or squid are astoundingly similar, which in some respects may be similar to our own. The diversity of life on Earth is a testament to biological adaptation, which aims to find solutions to specific survival issues. For example, a plant may need to collect sunlight more effectively than its neighbors to survive, or a fish may not be able to survive unless it can outswim its predators. 
However, some survival issues could have only a few viable answers. As a result, a similar design repeatedly appears, a phenomenon called convergent evolution. Other characteristics of terrestrial creatures, in addition to eyes and wings, have separately developed numerous times through convergence. As the biologist Jack Cohen put it, the four universal Fs are fur, photosynthesis, flight, and mating. Speaking of which, let's talk about how exactly it's supposed to adapt to and evolve around a red dwarf star system. On Earth, hydrothermal vents and caverns are thought to be the places where life first appeared or may have first appeared. In a red dwarf system, life might have developed similar adaptations over millions of years to cope with stellar flares. Life in caves could exploit environments near to the cave mouth. In the course of this, flares would increasingly become a problem. Life could gradually evolve defenses. For example, living organisms could evolve opaque protective shells. When they detect that a flare is starting, they could retreat into their shells. There'd be more challenges for life near hydrothermal vents. Most hydrothermal vents are in deep oceans where there's no immediate habitat between the vents and the ocean surface. Shallow water is where hydrothermal vent-type geological activity occurs on Earth in places like Hawaii and Iceland. Life might gradually develop flare protection in such environments. In areas where more vulnerable rivals would be wiped out by flares, resilient creatures may colonize. A life may gradually migrate into shallower water, where there's more light even in between flares as resistance evolve. Therefore, photosynthesis might develop there. Now that our journey's done, here's what you should know. Overall, with Alpha Centauri being the closest star system to Earth, it's not surprising that it's an area of intense searches for exoplanets. As a result, astronomers have spotted several suspected worlds in the system, and we could be in any and all of them by 3023 or so. Do you ever wonder what to do if aliens did show up on our planet? Watch this video to find out.